Street Food. Merry Christmas, street foodies. It's not Christmas at all, but I do have a present for you. Well, for one of you. Street food t-shirts! I'm not really making any money off of this, but some of my fans wanted t-shirts, so look, we made these t-shirts. They go on sale today, and you can buy them for the next two weeks. So if you're a patron of my show at any amount, I've already entered you to win a free t-shirt. I'm giving one away. But if you like the show, then buy a t-shirt. Then you can wear it. Somebody might look at it and say, ooh, street foodie. What's that? And you can be like, oh, it's this dope show I watch sometimes. Some people call that marketing. I just call it a show shirt. Speaking of presents, my sister bought me this book for Christmas, Lonely Planet. They put out a top 100, the world's best street food. Shout out Lonely Planet! Like, they're not paying me a dime, so I will tell you, this list is flawed. I mean, it's not my 100 top foods, but to be fair, no, I haven't tried them all. I do love the book, though, because like every snack comes with a recipe. Awesome! Lonely Planet has five USA foods listed. What do you think they are? Pretzel, knish, breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito is American? We got Maine lobster roll. Never been to Maine, but if I ever get up there, I'll try one. And of course, the only real answer to the question, what's an American street food? The hot dog. I love a good hot dog. Everyone's got their own way to eat it, you know, depending on the region that you're from. I like mine straight up with nothing but mustard. So now they get a little fancy, put a little sauerkraut on that piece. My favorite hot dog is at the Dairy Freeze in Alta Vista, Virginia, my mother's hometown. It's mostly about nostalgia, to be fair. But for a window of time, Hot dogs came to Xi'an. Xi'an, Zui Hao Chi the Rugo. Zui something either something something. I'm talking about real hot dogs. I'm not talking about these not dogs. These are like spam on a stick. And I feel I'm actually insulting spam when I say that because I would eat a whole bucket of spam before I would eat another one of these. I do not like them. I do not like that they look so much like a real hot dog because that's a ruse, friends and I do not approve. In light of the nastiness of the not dog, you'll understand how elated I was when I heard through a local expat magazine, shout out Xi'anese, that you can get real hot dogs at a foreign operated joint downtown. My friend Miriam and I went to check it out. Frank's fries and hot dogs, it's actually called Frank fries. The foreigners in town all call this area Bar Street because of all the bars that foreigners like to frequent in the area. It's inside the city wall, south and west of the bell tower. For serious fries and hot dog lovers like you. At first glance, Frank's is a little sketchy. In terms of seating, we got two chairs or a table outside. It's roughly the size of a walk-in closet and it has hot dogs with the names like these. We got the crispy spicy chicken sauce hot dog, Mediterranean no sauce, Korean spicy something, German classic, Italy Pate. They rocked a Mariah Carey slash Other Divas compilation CD for the entirety of our visit, but nothing could stop the dogs. We went for the German dog, and we also tried the Italy dog. It comes with like a little spaghetti meat sauce on top of it, it's almost like a chili dog. Oh, meat. the hot dog itself is actually really good. Yeah, like it tastes like a hot dog. That's legit. This is a legit hot dog. Not only do they have real hot dogs, Frank also has some classic fries. Oh, that's good too. Smothered in goodness. Talk about tomato salsa. Talk about sour cream and bacon. Real bacon, real sour cream. I've almost never seen real sour cream anywhere in Xi'an. Not only the dogs, not only the fries, but specialty sodas. Talking about vanilla Coke. Talking about cherry Coke. These do not come easily in my city. They're very hard to find, especially in a restaurant setting. I was almost more excited about these than I was about the hot dog. Miriam is one of my classmates, so we talked about how she studies Chinese. <laughs> <笑>我的老师他们都是非常好的老师 this is actually something I hear almost all the time from people who have studied Chinese in the West and then moved to China to study it. And look, tones are very important. Now I know it might seem to you, if you are a speaker of a non-tonal language, that tones don't matter that much. Like, isn't it just about the same? Can't they figure it out? No. It's not the same. It's like horribly mispronouncing a word. It's like trying to say this word, ain't we are. 
you walk around saying, give me an ain't we are, give me an ain't we are. No one knows what you're saying, okay? It's like that, but with every word. Tones matter a lot. That's it for this week. If you've learned a foreign language before, give me some study pro tips below and let me know how you like your hot dog. Until next week, keep eating it on the street, watching out for the parasite. Street food. Our 100th episode extravaganza comes out two weeks from now. Get crunk. If you're a $3 patron or more, you can see a version of that extravaganza right now. So head on over to Patreon, get signed up, or you know, just wait two weeks for the actual one to come out, whatever.